How are you doing today? Yeah. I'm TJ. Hey, TJ. I'm the father of Noel. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, there you go. All right, let's let's see, Mr. So, what do you want to do first? This is the uh, stuff. Oh, we can do that last. What we can do um, is usually kind of just a, a walkthrough and a little evaluation slash meeting of the pup, and a, okay. and then we'll uh, and then I'll load up everything before we head out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring them out. Yeah. Here, I'll close this for you for now. Hi. Oh. Archie. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cleaning the lens for me. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> How old is he? Here you go. I'll give you a break here. Uh, I'm guessing he's probably about six, seven months. Okay. I can well exactly. Okay. No problem. Um, It'll be good to have the uh, the finer details when people ask. Sometimes I, I just ballpark it too, but it's good to know. He's, he's really a, <laughs> fairly intelligent, but he's really. A, <laughs> Well trained at this point. Okay. Uh, I took him walking twice. The first time it was really hard. She said the the pulling. The pulling, and then I used the uh, electronic collar. Mm -hmm. And then the second, by the end of the walk, he was uh, doing much much better. He was actually staying with me. Okay. And uh, then the next day I took him again, and he was actually pretty good. Okay. He had, he had a good memory. So is that just something that you guys will always use with them then? Well, uh... Or is it something you're trying to uh, not have to use eventually? Well, it's kind of, uh... Who's that? Well, it's not... I, I'm not the owner, so I can't, uh... <laughs> but I have a golden retriever, uh -huh. and I learned how to train with a collar, and the art... Whenever I take her for a walk, I still keep her on her leash. I mean, the uh, electronic collar. She's almost nine years old. She's nine years old now. Oh, okay. And so she's just more. I mean, she stays with me and walks, and she's fine. So, anyways, that's my training. That's that's the way I knew it. So. Hi. Uh, Hi. But Art doesn't wear it in the house. The other <laughs> major issue is, as you can see, he jumps all the time. Right. Very excited. And. Uh, he has a tendency to wander. <laughs> okay. There was a, a dog trainer that, I think it's called K9 or something like that around here. They do electronic collars. They're all... Uh -huh. Off-leash K9. Pardon? Off-leash K9. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's where I trained Good boy. <laughs> the golden. Okay. So I used to come down here once a week with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that, that's, that's my background. <laughs> I usually train without um, the collar unless the parents request it for hunting or long distance recall or if they go hiking a lot just to make it a lot. Uh, usually what I train with is just positive reinforcement methods and really developing that loyalty and the dog wanting to be with you and near you and wanting to listen to commands so that way in case you forget the collar or the battery goes dead or something, the dog will still want right. to listen as opposed to um, as opposed to feeling like they have to listen or else they'll get corrected. So I pretty much do everything possible to not have to correct a dog, uh, especially when they're still so young. Most of the time, if you just build a bond and relationship with the dog, just from my experience, They'll be more than happy to listen to you and follow you and all those things. It's just most most of the time nowadays too, we just don't have the amount of time to put into creating that relationship in the first place. And so we take certain shortcuts to help quicken the process. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so nine times out of 10, you can get anybody to stop doing anything if you hurt them. <laughs> Archie. Archie. Good boy. Down. <laughs> so anyways, it's up to you and Noel to negotiate that part. I'm not sure. Very good. Good boy. 
<laughs> He's got a nice tempo. Good boy. Yeah. And his biggest issue right now is that he just doesn't get the exercise he needs. Yeah, that's activity. that's a big one for puppies too. Yeah. Especially certain breeds. He's yeah. one of them, working breeds in general, or hunting, sporting breeds. Right. You know, so maybe we'll see how he does at the dog park and get him running around and socializing. He's, he, he, he's used to being around dogs and cats, and so it's not an issue. That's good. <laughs> He'll probably learn quickly, too, so it'll just be about some repetition and, right. and some think, practice. That's been my, like I said, I got him to walk okay after the at the end of the walk. Mm -hmm. It was a really tough walk. <laughs> oh. We'll try we'll try to get him a little bit more better at the beginning and the end of it. Good boy. This way. <laughs> what do you get? What'd you get? Huh? What do you get? What do you got? <laughs> Archie. Yes, this way. Good boy. Bless you. Wait. Archie. Yes, good boy. There, oh, there you go. He gets distracted pretty easily too with everything. Huh? Good boy. Yeah, he'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a very adaptable. <laughs> What's that, huh? What was that? Anything else I should know about them? Uh, I don't know. That, those are the main things. I think the jumping is a major. You know, it's like those couple of corners and the tables and steel food. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I guess just the usual, you know, sit, play, um. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense because even now when he's pulling nine times out of ten, he's just following his nose, and because he's so jumpy as well. The counter surfing is just kind of going to fall in line pretty close behind that because he smells something up there and right. he naturally moves up. Right. So just, just combining the two behaviors. But yeah, just maybe getting him some good nose work, some redirection, some patience building. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, well, I'll get him loaded up and then I'll grab his stuff for you if you want to say goodbye. <laughs> I don't know. If he, <laughs> I don't know if he'll even pay attention to us for that process, but that's okay. All right. How's he doing in the car? Uh, he did fine today. Okay. Come on, up, up, up. There you go. I figured you could jump up there. <laughs> We'll see if we need the seatbelt for him or not. All right, I'll go grab a uh, grab his stuff. Oh no, is it started happening already? 